Blade Show, day three, one-on-one -on -one bagels, day three. This place must be good. Why do we keep coming back, you may ask? Coffee ice cubes, never gets watered down. Freaking genius. Bagel with cream cheese, pretty good. Easy takedown this year, really nice. Even have doors right behind us, pulling up the truck. What an easy teardown. Just like that, we're out of here. Good job. Home sweep home, back in Ohio at RAC. Let me show you what I got. First things first, apologize for the lack of length in the vlogs. I know you guys really like the vlogs, but, um, but we've been hitting the interviews super hard. You guys are gonna enjoy those coming out throughout this week and a little bit into the next week. Let me show you my Blade Show haul. So, first things first, let's start right here. I just wanna say one thing, this packaging is incredible. Anthony Jackson from Tactical Everyday Dad. This is gnarly. So, this was gifted to me from Anthony Jackson from Tactical Everyday Dad. And this thing is freaking sick. Feels good in the hand. It's in magnet cut. And it's just awesome. Pinch it up here with the jimping. Got jimping back here for you. Super cool wooden handle. And that's that. Also a super nice sheath. Next up in this bag we have from Kalawea Knives. This is a custom kitchen knife, super sick, G10 uh, with resin honeycomb. Don't really know exactly what term to call that. Super sick though, uh, ABL kitchen knife. It's like a five inch Santoku. He calls it a five inch pairing. Super sick, can't wait to use this guy. And then last up, I picked up this from Bradford, cracking it open. This is like an eight inch chef's knife. Super, super sick, also an ABL. Crazy thin, feels good in the hand. Uh, the smaller paring knife version actually won Blade Show's Kitchen Knife of the Year for 2022. Super cool, I think it totally deserved that. Um, this thing is really cool. Something a little bit unusual for this year, every knife I got was a fixed blade. Did not end up picking up any folders, but a lot of the guys did. Evan got a Les George, super cool, loved that knife. Doug got a super cool Protec. Todd also got a Protec along with many other knives. Anyways guys, that's gonna wrap it up for Blade Show 2022. Hope you enjoyed the content. There'll still be a lot more content coming out after this video. Interviews with many of your guys' favorite knife makers. I'll catch you on the next one. Later.